Hello dear patients, this is Dr. Serkan Balta and this is Coco, my dog. We are going to talk to you about the surgical complications. Uh, most of my patients are coming from abroad and it's not so easy to have the surgery in abroad, I know. You have lots of questions in your mind. I will try to, uh, I will try to explain one topic. It's very important for me and for you too, the complications. So before we start with the complications, I would like to tell you what complications that you can have. Sometimes we have early complications. The complications that you can have in first few days is called as the early complications. These are bleeding, hematomas, or a kind of fever infection, or some breathing problems. These are the early complications that you can have after surgery. And when you have these kind of uh, complications, anyway, we will be with you. For example, for us, we always offer our patients to stay at least five to seven days in our country to see the wound. And before you have the flight, before you go back to your home, we always make a check to see if there's something wrong or not. So the first important thing that you have to know is the, if you have an early complication, that we will be with you. Maybe you can delay your flight. Maybe we can just uh, make your hospital stay longer and we will handle it together. But the question is from the long-term or late complications. So if you have any problems like a long-term uh, long complication, then we will be with you again. But the difference is you will be really far. So if you have surgery in your own country, you can just call a taxi and you can go for doctor's office. But when you're operating in the abroad, it's not so easy. So anyway, we have to be keep in touch with you. For example, at least for one year after the surgery, that's why my assistants will uh, try to contact our patients every month or every three months. They will uh, ask you for the pictures, to see the wound, to see the operating area. It's the best choice for follow-up. But anyway, every surgeon in the world, they have complications. If the surgeon tells you that I have no complication, it means that the doctor isn't operating. So if you're operating for the patients, anyway, you will have complications. Some of them are minor complications, some of them are major complications. And every complication rate changes to the doctors. Uh, they change to their style, their technique. Uh, then you can have the complications and different complications. So, for us, when you go back to your home, the complications that you can see are, uh, for example, a seroma. It means a fluid collection under your skin. So it needs to be removed. If you come back to us, anyway, we will help you about that handling with that seroma. But if you cannot come anyway, you can find a doctor or you can find a nurse, a medical professional to help you about that seroma removal. We remove it with a syringe, with a needle. And uh, anyway, if you need this, first you have to tell it to us. You have to send us the videos. We have to be sure that if there is a seroma, if there is, anyway, we can just um, refer you to any doctor, to another clinic in your country, and maybe they can help you more. And don't worry, you will have your medical histories with us. Anyway, when you ask for it, we can send you your medical uh, report after about our surgery. So you will be in safe hands and you will have all reports what you have. And if you have a complication like and needs an emergency uh, or needs an emergency, a medical touch it's like infection or maybe a wound separation that that in that time maybe you can come to us easily anytime as you want you're not going to ask any money for your complications when you come for a revision but uh, if you need <coughs> an emergency touch so maybe we can just uh, contact with your doctor about your uh, situation then we can be in touch with we can cooperate with the doctor that you're going to find and um, this is these are the uh, like infections like uh, wound separations that you need a touch up uh, of course you can come back or you can choose your own country's doctor and you can go for it and there are some complications like a very long term and doesn't need an emergency touch so these are the complications like wound uh, healing problems like calloid uh, some bumps and lumps in your operating area or uh, the irre contour irregularities after the surgery. These are very long-term uh, complications that you can have in the future. But if you have such kind of complications, anyway, we will be still with you. 
uh, you can come back to us for a revision for free just you have to buy your tickets you have to arrange your accommodation or we will arrange it for you and you only have to pay for the test that's all for the surgical touch-up you don't need to pay anything and when you have a complication do not hesitate to contact with us or with your doctor then we will be always with you anyway um, it's uh, like a neighborhood when you operate with us anyway you will be uh, our neighbors and we can contact with you anytime if you need a touch-up and we will be with you um, and for the long-term revisions we always try to wait at least nine months to uh, your wound or your operating area to settle down and then you can have the surgery this is the best method to go for a revision but of course if you have an if you need us in an emergency case we will be with you and uh, for the future questions do not hesitate to contact with the booking managers that uh, book your surgeries and we will be with you always okay see you and goodbye